Thanks so much for joining us, Mr. Perry. We want to start with the situation in Gaza being labeled as a humanitarian crisis, but Israeli Defense Minister Vigdor Lieberman says there's no such thing. Tell us about your read of the situation right now in Gaza. Well, with all due regard and dignity to Mr. Lieberman, the situation is quite um, bad. We are on the edge of a humanitarian crisis. No electricity, no water. We used to send every day 1,000 vans with uh, uh, um, food and, and cement and medicals. And now we are sending less than 300. It means that the situation is getting worse. Now, it's then in Israeli interest to deal with this humanitarian crisis because the guilt will be on the shoulders of the state of Israel. And I think it's, an in, it's a security interest to ease the situation in the Gaza Strip. So uh, we have to face the reality. We have to ask other countries, those who are donating, or at least were ready to donate, to help in this situation, because otherwise we will face a huge, huge crisis. You say the guilt will be on Israel. Now, generally, that's the world's reaction anyway, but do you think that's fair? No, it's not fair, but that's reality. And the reality doesn't seem to deal with fairness or unfairness. The problem is that Israel had been in the Gaza Strip for decades. And now, even we are not there physically, we are still uh, uh, regarded as those who are responsible for what's going on there. Mainly because of the fact that Egypt doesn't want to be involved. And the rest of the world, except Qatar, nobody is really interested about two million people who are living in the densest place in the world in conditions that are terrible. Now you can claim we shouldn't help the Hamas. Well, it's true, but we have to help the population and try and differ between the Hamas and the population as much as we can. The military right now certainly preparing for a conflict, and we heard Hamas thinks that a conflict is imminent. Do you think the military should be preparing for a conflict right now? The Israeli well, military? We should be prepared uh, every second. But as far as I know, the Hamas is not interested, not because they fell in love in Israel, because of the fact that they are not ready yet, in their view. So Israel has to straighten the, the uh, time, try and help to solve, even not, not even to solve or to ease the humanitarian crisis and to delay a uh, uh, front, uh, I would say, uh, um, um, acceleration between Israel and the Hamas. But it can happen because of what's going on nowadays in the Gaza Strip. Do you agree that it's not a matter of if, but when the next conflict in Gaza breaks out? Yeah, unfortunately, my answer is yes. Uh, though, miracles are happening. I'm ma much more worried from a uh, incident that a, an Israeli soldier or an Arab terrorist will make a mistake and then a fire will burst and nobody will be able to uh, solve it. But, uh, yes, it's a, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a question of timing. And when you are grabbing the time, even intentionally, you can sometimes uh, 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 find yourself in another situation which is not always a confrontation. We've heard all about this initiative by Israeli Transportation Minister Yisrael Katz to build artificial islands in Gaza to relieve the crisis there. What's your take on his proposal? I'm totally supportive. 
Uh, the Gaza Strip is narrow. No place. Finally, they will need an airport, a naval port, hubs for natural gas, and for housing. A uh, artificial island will take some years uh, to build. And I think it's a very good solution. And I will tell you more than that. I think that artificial islands are a kind of a solution for Israel as well. We are debating among us, uh, ourselves where should we put the hubs for the natural gas. We are debating where we will put the, in a new airport. Will it be in the north or will it be in the south? A artificial island or islands can solve this problem. So I am very supportive of this uh, uh, um, idea uh, towards Gaza. The artificial islands cost money, and I'm not so sure Israel is willing to put up the money needed. Will somebody else come through? Are you re relying on the international community? Yeah, you have to. I don't think, really, that Israel has to invest in building. Israel has to come with the ideas, with the constraints, with the uh, technology. But to finance it, I think that the donating countries, the UN, the US, uh, can uh, donate, should donate. And I really think that it can happen. Using new technology, Israel recently detected and destroyed several Hamas underground tunnels. How much of a factor, how much of an advantage is this newfound technology for Israel? And will it give Hamas second thoughts about attacking again? Well, I think that we are on the way of solving the tunnel issue. Not 100%, but close to it. And Hamas, no doubt, will have to think and ill thinking about alternatives, either from the sea or from the air or from the Sinai Peninsula, you name it. Uh, we are much more advanced and we are hey, leading and I hope it will stay. Let's talk about the Egyptian side of the border. There was a New York Times article recently quoting Israeli officials confirming that Israeli airstrikes have been taking place in Sinai to help eliminate uh, ISIS from the region and help the Egyptian army in the process. Uh, what can you tell us about that? I know that there is an intelligence help. I cannot approve the uh, New York Times uh, um, story. It can be logic, but I cannot approve it. I really don't know. But the situation is very, very, uh, um, uh, I would say, risky. First of all, from the terrorism itself. Secondly, it's the line between Sudan and the Gaza Strip to smuggle ammunition from uh, Iran through Sudan, through Sinai Peninsula to the Gaza Strip. So, in what angle you are looking at, we are uh, in a um, quite a severe and a very, very uh, sensitive uh, um, situation in, uh, in the Sinai Peninsula. I hope that the Egyptian army will prevail, but that's also a story that will take some time. From what point that you'll take it, Israel has an interest to uh, uh, help Egypt and to protect itself? Or shall I do it, shall I put it, protect itself and help Egypt? Mr. Yaakov Perry, member of the Israeli parliament, thank you so much for your time. Joining us. It was a pleasure.